Before we can really get into rules of inference, I really want to go over how does this tie into everything that you've done? Well, our overall goal is proofs. And what we've done is, a, is an iterative step into proofs. We've gone over propositional logic, propositions. We've gone into implications. We've gone into quantifiers. These are all of the building blocks for a proof. And, the, and the, one of the last building blocks that we're going to have is inferences. Now, the funny part is, is don't put your notes away from the previous weeks and previous content because you're going to need all of it. You're, there's going to be times problems are going to need your equivalences. They're going to need your overall set of logics, your logic gates, your con all of your connectives. It's going to need all of those forms and sheets that I've given you before this. So don't put them, don't put them away. Go ahead and pull them all back out because you're going to need them for some of the exercises that are coming up. The other part is, is that this is a construction. The inference is the construction of getting our arguments, that's a real big word here, into a proof. So we're at the doorstep of proofs here and now using inferences, I mean, we're, we're ringing the doorbell, let's put it that way. So that's how inferences tie into everything that we're doing.